The trial of WNBA star Brittany Griner underway in a Russian courtroom as the frustration over her detention grows. It's now been 135 days since Griner was arrested at a Moscow airport. ABC's Lama Hassan joins us with the latest. Lama, good morning. Yeah, good morning to you. Whip basketball star Brittany Griner is spending this holiday weekend, which is meant to be all about freedom in detention as her trial that is expected to last several months gets underway. This morning, Brittany Griner fighting for her freedom. On the first day of her criminal trial, the seven-time WNBA all-time star shackled and surrounded by security. She was escorted to the courtroom to hear her charges behind closed doors. She is doing as well as can be expected in these difficult circumstances. And she asked me to convey that she is in good spirits and is keeping up the faith. At Griner's pretrial on Monday, the judge extended her detention another six months. Brittany, how do you feel? Her lawyer admitting she is scared. Uh, she's a bit worried because she has a trial. The two-time Olympic gold medalist was detained on February 17th as she was traveling through a Moscow airport. Russian authorities allege she was carrying vape cartridges containing hashish oil, illegal in Russia and if convicted, punishable by up to 10 years in prison. The U.S. government calling the 31-year-old's detention unlawful. Wrongful detention uh, is unacceptable wherever it occurs and it endangers the safety of everyone traveling, living, working, studying abroad. Sending her case to the department's special envoy for hostage affairs. The entire intention of this trial is to delay, is to raise leverage so that the Russian government can ultimately use her for political negotiations. Her wife, Sherelle, saying she's losing trust in the U.S. government, telling CNN Griner reached out to the embassy in Russia multiple times and no one responded. BG can call our government, the embassy, 11 times, and that phone call don't get answered, you don't have my trust at that point. Brittany Griner's wife telling our Robin Roberts that she wants answers. You say she's top priority, but I want to see it. And I feel like to see it would be me seeing BG on U.S. soil. Now, Sherelle has been asking to meet with President Biden directly. It is going to be a tough battle to bring Greiner home because in Russia, less than 1% of defendants in criminal cases get acquitted. Now, her next court appearance is due to take place on Thursday. Janae. All right, Lama, thank you. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.